years of advocacy work, it was brought to the forefront that 16 states underfunded historically black land grants by 13 billion, yes billion, over the last three decades. This week, President Biden and Vice President Harris met with presidents of HBCU Board of Advisors to figure out how they can combat this issue. Uh, I am proudly the first Vice President of the United States who is an HBCU graduate. <laughs> so the work of this um, esteemed group of leaders under the guidance of our president is especially meaningful to me for many reasons. Uh, I strongly believe based on experience and knowledge about what our country needs in terms of its strength and growth and development that our HBCUs are extraordinary centers of academic excellence. Letters were sent to the governors where the HBCUs were affected, such as Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky, and they highlighted some of the ways that the HBCUs were underfunded. During the meeting with the HBCU board, President Biden took some time to highlight some of the things that he's done to help uplift and fund HBCUs. Including research investments, the largest increase in Pell Grants in over a decade, and significant percentage of African Americans born in college have seen Pell Grants. Student debt repayment plan is a total lifetime payment per dollar borrowed for black students and families cut in half, and uh, established the board uh, to do even more. My name is Ariana Griffin, and I'm with YR Media, keeping you updated on HBCU News.